out and tested it out. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. guys we uh, finally made it back home uh, it's like a three hour drive it's really dark out right now I don't even know if you guys can see out there that it's at oh mom what time is it it's quarter to ten so uh, yeah it's not late but it's dark uh, let's get into opening the uh, items that we got we'll start off small little large piece Now for the shovel that we got at the same place. Um, um, you'll probably see the they don't need no videos. Um, but yeah, so it just comes with the chain. Two It's not World War Two, but it looks oh, exactly it. the same. So we're gonna try to get these engraved. Trenching shovels. So you guys will see. Them. Yeah, it should. You guys should get the gist of what it is. Uh, we're using my uh, survival knife. Um, it's pretty much just became the main knife that I'm using on this channel for uh, unboxing, but uh, yeah. Use the shovel. Got some dust on it. Probably been in the store for a while. But uh, how do you do this? Is it just like that? Mm. Oh, this is a pick at the back. But uh, then do I screw this? I think I'm good. There we go. So it could be a pickaxe like that. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I'm gonna find out this down. It's cutting it. Oh, okay. I'm screw it. Shovel with pit hardened um, wooden shovel. We will find out. We'll, uh, we'll famous we need a lot of the items at the surplus, but uh, yeah. Let's hey guys, we're out here in the foxhole. Sorry about the birds, but whatever. Um, it rained recently, so it's pretty dirty in there. But uh, we're gonna be testing out the uh, reproduction surplus shovel. Uh, so I'm going to get it. So we're gonna do a few tests. We're gonna test the saw blade along the side. We're gonna test the pickaxe, the shovel, and then we're gonna test the shovel. It can turn into like a hoe, and we're gonna try that as well. But I think we're gonna start off with the shovel. takes a long time to thread. Finally got it threaded. Here's the shovel. Uh, let's test it out. I'm just going to clear out a little area here. Okay. Yeah, it's very tiny, but that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, it's a little... It's literally been like three seconds. Uh, all I had to do was just screw it harder, but um, I got it. And tomorrow, 
when it's actually light out, we will film a segment of us testing it out, I guess, just digging with it. Well, we're finally here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's starting to rain. Um, but, uh, oh, here, zoom in on the shovel. You can see the, you see the rain? Yep. Okay, so, uh, I just have to Probably. screw it. Okay, let's test out the, uh, saw blade. Here, I'm just gonna test the other saw blade first. This saw, saw blade, blade oh. isn't as uh, spiky as this one down here, but might do something. No. Nah, that barely does anything. So, so I wouldn't really I think this is practical unless you're like cutting rope or a uh, small dig branch the hole with this, but it would have been a lot harder, I think. So if we just go down. Alright, oh, now I'll try the pickaxe, and then the hole. Oh, no, we did yeah, the left. Yeah, no, we're just going on We're shielded by the, uh, because there's a more realistic or side. Or we're side so that we can test the hole, and then we don't have to re-screw it. Yeah. I don't really think the pickaxe is meant for digging up rocks. I think it's for, uh, other stuff. But, um, we can test it out on a rock here. Test it out right here. Oh, there's a chip. Right there. No, it's a yeah, saw blade, not an axe. Back up. That time I don't think huh, it did anything. It doesn't even sound like it does that good. No, it's not that good. Let me test the other side, see if it's like... <laughs> okay, so it is the saw blade that's making those marks. Uh, so the saw blade, I'd rate probably a three. Oh. There. Okay, we'll try one more time. Oh, whoa. So. Pretty dinged up on the end, but uh. And then look, that was the last one. That one was pretty deep. But I think this 